Hello, so in this tutorial, let's allow the user to log in. So for that, let's go to the register screen uh, or the register.dart file and let's copy this method. So uh, I will actually copy everything in it and come back to the login screen and uh, go up and I will paste it here and let's copy this name and get rid of this function and change this name and now we need to import the auth instance I mean the file the const file which is this one and uh, the other things which is for example the firebase auth in here we need it and uh, now we need to edit this function. So instead of using this function, we can use another function which is uh, allow us to sign in. So we use the sign in with email and password. Simple as that. And now it is done. So let's uh, restart the application and test it. Okay. So now we don't have a user, as you can see. Let's go here to the user screen let's go to the login screen and now let's try to log in i will enter a different email that is not found to get an error so uh, now let's enter a password try to log in and in here i'm getting an error as you can see because there is uh, no email using uh, i mean this email is not found Nobody uses this email yet. So now while it's being loaded, we need to do just like we did before. So let's wrap this stack by a new widget, which is will be the loading manager file. And of course we need to give it the is loading here. Now save it, try to log in again, and now we can see this spinner. Perfect, so uh, let's try to log in now. I will use this email, try to log in. And the password is wrong. I think I used uh, this password. So let's try to log in. And here it is. And uh, I printed successfully registered. Of course, we don't uh, need it. Let's say like this. And uh, now let's try to add something to the cart. It is working. This one is working also. And in here we are showing the logout. Let's try to log out continue as a guest here it is it's working also and of course as i said we still having the cart and wish list items because it is local now in here i'm showing the login not the logout text and we will allow the user to navigate to the login screen so that's it for this tutorial i'll see you in the next one